So the Oculus Quest 2 is finally out, offering wireless VR with great visuals at a friendlier price point than ever before, right before the holidays too. We've been playing our Quest 2 non-stop for the last couple weeks, so here is our list of the top 5 launch games for the Quest 2. 11 Table Tennis perfectly mimics the rhythm and tension of ping pong without needing a big table taking up space in the middle of your room. The precise physics of slamming a highball versus gingerly knocking it over are incredibly realistic. You can play with friends online, or there's always random people online to challenge, but keep in mind that they are all pretty good at this. A couple years ago, I saw a video from an arcade in Japan where they had Mario Kart VR. And it looked glorious. In 2018, they moved it to an arcade in Washington, but as of today, Nintendo still hasn't made a version we can all play at home or online together. That's okay though, because Dash Dash World beat Nintendo to it. You know why they put me at the front? Because I'm the best. Hey! Oh. Oh, a gun? I'll take the giant gun, thank you. Dash Dash World has everything to scratch that Mario Kart itch. Bright, colorful, creative environments, frantic gameplay, and satisfying items you can pick up to smash enemies or give yourself a speed boost. Whoa! Get out of my face! You took my items! The driving controls are simple and fluid. You can draft behind other cars, drift around corners, and collect speed boosts to get that extra push right at the end of the race. No. <laughs> A lot of the weapons are harmless and silly. Fucker. What's the bee grenade do? Hey, get your bees out of my face! But then there's more adult weapons, like an Uzi or a Gatling gun. The sound effects and the upbeat soundtrack will put a smile on your face as you maniacally take out your enemies. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> up to four online players can compete in races with four additional robot racers. There are currently nine maps of varying difficulty, and they all have lots of personality. You gotta check this one out. It's one of the best racing experiences I've had in VR. Oh god, oh god. Not the Pingu. First place, you hillbilly. If you haven't heard about Population One, it's the new VR Battle Royale game. Six teams of three are dropped onto a battlefield where they must battle to the death as the circle around the map gets smaller and smaller. You've probably heard about this format before. First thing I'll say about Population One is that this is the system seller for the Quest Two. Not only is it a well-polished VR Battle Royale game, it brings new elements into the Battle Royale format that are perfectly suited for virtual reality. You can fly by holding your arms out, and when you pair this with your ability to climb anything, it creates a more action-packed, vertical version of Battle Royale that we haven't previously seen inside or outside VR. The other nifty addition is the ability to build platforms like in Fortnite, turning you into some kind of magneto as you frantically pull platforms out of thin air. I also love that if you or a teammate gets downed, they can move over to the players that are still alive to get revived. This is the first VR game in a long time that I've been thinking about when I'm not playing it, and I'm always wanting to jump back in for one more round. This is definitely one of the first games you should play. It's outstanding. You can fly, you can fight, and you can I made a video about why Saints and Sinners is the definitive Walking Dead VR experience. You play as a mysterious tourist who is suddenly caught between warring factions during the zombie apocalypse. Freedom of choice is emphasized as you can decide to kill anyone, anytime. Hey, get the fuck Whoops. This game coming to the Quest 2 is monumental, because Saints and Sinners is the only full AAA VR game with a lengthy story that is currently available on the Quest 2 without connecting it to a PC for additional games. Straight out of the box, you can play this thought-provoking, visceral, kick-ass story that set a new bar for survival VR. Get it. 
And finally, Rec Room. First, I'll do a quick overview of Rec Room in case you've never played. Rec Room is a cross-platform multiplayer game for VR players and non-VR players. In Rec Room, there's lots of activities to play, and they're all done very well. Adventure quests for up to four players, paintball, sports of all kinds, obstacle course races, and their own version of Battle Royale. The developers are constantly adding juicy new content, plus some really specific user content. One time, I saw a recreation of the Universal Studios Back to the Future ride. I can pilot my remote control from here, but I'm gonna need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff! I'm telling you, people are making some wild stuff. Get in! Watch your step! And possibly infringing on some copyrights here and there. Hey, let's go through the loop, though. Woo! Woo! Oh! 